Circle for the Kula. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends review on the Zabu 2024 edition Build-A-Figure. This is a pretty sweet looking bath art. What do you think, huh, you guys? Uh, Build-A-Figure art. Uh, I thought it would be pretty fun to do this. It's been a while, kind of creepy looking. Anyway, luckily, we do not have a Build-A-Figure piece with the Superior Iron Man. The Black Winter Thor figure comes with the head. The torso and tail come with Wolfsbane. And then Kazar comes with the front right leg. Red Widow comes with the front left leg. The right hind leg comes with Icarus. And then the left hind leg comes with Cable. And we're going to get this thing built in just a second. But first, if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited to see this thing in saber tooth mode. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? Okay, so we'll go ahead and actually have uh, this leg attached right here. I think I initially started with the front legs when I first built this. And they can be a little... Oh, this is a hind leg right here. I'm sorry. We'll start with the hind legs. There we go. I changed my mind. And then we're going to get the front left leg right there. This is pretty easy to put together. I actually didn't have to heat anything up, so it was fairly easy to do. I'm going to form the head right there. Awesome. And now we have Zabu all built and looking really cool. This is a very fun figure to have too. I really do like the articulation on it. Uh, this is really one of the best animal figures that we've seen from Hasbro Marvel Legends. So I am pretty stoked about it. We'll do some comparisons with some other Hasbro animal figures. <coughs> G.I. Joe classified animals, you know, gonna do that. Anyway, all right, let's get a closer look. So <laughs> Zabu, the saber-toothed cat, is the companion and pet of Kazar, and they're from the Savage Land, and... Is he talking over here? Does he talk at some point? Or is this just animals being able to talk to each other? I, I don't know. But anyway, comparing uh, the SDCC exclusive. Thank you again, Sean Long, to this newer Build-A-Figure. Oh my god, this newer one is so much more realistic looking. Now this one isn't terrible when it comes to the head sculpt. There's things about it that I like. But the lack of fur throughout was always just really, really weird for me. I, I don't know what's going on. But this one's got all the furry goodness over here. Sounds weird, but yeah, uh, we don't have actual whiskers coming out, but you can see where the little uh, follicle holes would be, I guess. And then the gums look really good. The teeth look great. And then his saber tooth teeth fangs right over here. <laughs> These look awesome. And they're fairly firm. They are pointy. Like if you have a foam dio and you drop your saber tooth cat on it, it will stab right through. I don't have any paint nicks on the teeth right here which makes me really happy and yeah the paint and detail inside the mouth look great that jaw articulation is awesome to have i love the green eyes i love that there's a variance of fur color over here so you can see we have a lighter blonde color gets dirtier or is it more of a tan color than blonde but you can see it's lighter underneath right there Eh, not super well it fades out nicely before it gets to the next joint so i like that it doesn't just cut off at the joint blends away before we get over here and some nice detailed fur on the underbelly and yeah just throughout the sculpted fur is really good on this thing some parts oh you can see the fur is sculpted in the hinge right there that's pretty cool and then i do like how all the paws came out on this looking really good we got the paws right there at the bottom looking pretty sweet man yeah, I like the details on this. Uh, the color variation, again, right over here, some darker tan colors mixed in there. Looks pretty sweet. Then, yeah, you can see some more of that over there. Uh, I like how this looks. This is an awesome saber tooth cat, or Smilodon for the Joey Bees out there. So the articulation on this guy is awesome. Uh, you get the jaw articulation, which we already went over. You could open that lower jaw that far, and you get some good head movement over here. It's on a ball joint, as you saw earlier, ported on, so you get the wiggly waggly motion. Then you have the neck articulation, which mostly rotates side to side, but it will move forward and back. You could shift it downward that much, and it'll 
click upward that much. Sometimes I wish I can get more range of movement moving back, but it's not awful. You have ball joints right here on the front shoulders, so you can move those outward, rotate them around, hopefully not running into too much fur or popping them off. Pretty good. You can bend the elbows in right over there, and then the ankles will move up and down, and you get ankle pivot right there. And then you have a mid-torso joint that pivots right here, moves up and down like that, and you can rotate, and ball joints on the rear legs right here rotate all the way around knee joint bends forward then you have the heel joint right here uh rotates at the heel too even though you don't really want to do that that's weird not anatomically correct that's weird but yeah hinges hinges at the foot as well ankle pivot over here then the tail has a hinge and rotation now to measure out this saber tooth cat you can see in a fairly standard neutral pose like that he's standing at around four inches tall and then from nose to tail you're looking at about seven and a half inches across and here we have a zabu comparison and wow what a difference right much improved zabu over here you can see they stand at a about the same height, more or less. Uh, yeah, this one's standing a little bit taller. I could squish it down more. The length of these is about the same as well. Maybe a little bit longer right here with the 2008 version. I think that's when it came out. But yeah, uh, I'm happy to have this upgrade right over here. Uh, much improved. Then here's Zabu next to the old Kazar and Shauna figures from that STCC pack that came with the older Zabu. And I talked about this before, but this is what I believe the new Shauna figure will look like or will be based off of this image right over here no cleavage and a lot more wardrobe all over her i can't believe they went with frank cho for the inspiration for this figure it was certainly a moment of time that we will not get back ever again we will never see action figures based off of the artwork of frank cho ever and that makes me so sad but i'm happy that it at least happened and then here's Zabu next to some other furry creatures in my collection. We have the Toy Biz Lord of the Rings Wolf right here. We have the Cosmo Build-A-Figure. We have Dog Pool and Squirrel Pool right there. And then we have Tippy Toe from the Squirrel Girl set. And then on this side, we have a couple of classified figures. We have Timber and Junkyard. I don't think this is actually correct as far as the scale difference. I think think saber tooth cats are supposed to be much larger than this especially seeing them compared to cosmo or timber over here right shouldn't saber tooth cat be all the way up there do you know joey uh, i don't know i keep referencing joey because he works for like one of the biggest prehistoric museums in the world so he should know if he doesn't know, oh. Then here's Zabu next to a couple of other prehistoric creatures. We have a Velociraptor, or is this a Denonicus, from Creative Beast Studios, Beast of the Mesozoic. And then we have a Mattel Jurassic World T-Rex. Then here's Zabu next to all the other figures from the wave. We have the Black Winter Thor, Superior Iron Man, Red Widow, Kazar, Wolfsbane, Icarus, and Cable. And ranking these was pretty hard to do. I just went with the ratings that I had given the figures. And uh, at the bottom of the list, I am giving it to the Superior Iron Man. I am emotionally attached to the character, but still, as a figure, I just feel like they got it wrong. I love the head sculpt, but damn, it's such an easy figure to pass on. I put it at the bottom of the list. I I'm offended by the figure, okay? What can I say? And then above that, I'm giving it to the Black Winter Thor. There's just not a lot going on with that figure. New head, new cape, new Mjolnir, and that's it. I'm not really thrilled about that figure. And then above that, I'm giving it to the Red Widow. And then above that one, uh, we're going all the way from a 5.3 rating to a 7.8 with Icarus, which I forgot to include in the review. My apologies, but I gave him a 7.8. And then above him... Uh, tied at an 8.6 that goes to Kazar and Wolfsbane. Both of those got an 8.6. And then next, I give it to Cable. And then at the top of the list, I give it to Zabu over here. And it was a close call for me between Cable and Zabu, kind of. There's more changes I definitely want to see with the Cable figure compared to the Zabu. The Zabu, I can't think of changes. Maybe more range of movement. But really, I think they just nail... I, you can't make a better saber-toothed cat than this one, can you? Can they? I don't think so. And then here's Zabu next to your average scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man. So I hope you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to feed me your love, you can do so by hitting that like button. And if you really want to feed me your love, you could hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And those who want to feed me the most love, you could do so by joining me on channel membership or Patreon. Is, is that turning you off from doing so by talking about the feeding of the love? It sounds weird. But I gotta get a little bit weird sometimes, okay? It's fun to be weird, and I like to have fun, so here I am being weird. Anyway, I enjoyed this figure. I'm I'm really happy over it. What can I tell you? I have very little complaints about this Zabu. Every time I look over at it, I'm like, oh man, I really like how the fur looks. I love I love the paint detail on it. I love the color variation. Could we have used a little bit more paint? Maybe, yeah. yeah maybe we could have used a little bit more paint. Uh, could it have been a little bit larger? Yeah, I think it could have been a, even a little bit bigger than it is, but I, I don't have any real problems with it. You know, I, I really do like it a lot. It's really fun to pose around. I could always ask for more articulation, but I don't see the figure missing any serious articulation points that hinder the fun factor at all in any kind of way. So I'm very pleased with it. Is the size big enough to be a Build-A-Figure? I think so, yes. Yeah, it's a justifiable size for a Build-A-Figure. So I don't have a lot of complaints. I'm actually very happy about this figure, which is one reason why I'm being so weird. And at the price point of a Build-A-Figure, I'm going to give this Zabu a sud rating of... <laughs> And I really don't think there could be much else done to make it better. Like really, a little bit bigger, a little bit more range of movement with the articulation, a little bit more paint, a little bit more of what they already gave us is all I could think of. But let me know what you got to say about it. I will read your comments down below. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. We have a live stream tonight at 5 p.m. And then we're doing hella sick figs at 7 p.m. Hope to see you there. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.